Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I hope you're all well. In today's video, I'm going to be doing an updated makeup collection. Um, someone asked me to do one of these on my story and I thought another one like I feel like I've already done loads recently and then I checked back on the last time I did one and it was about six or seven months ago and my collection has grown quite a lot since then. So I did a little poll on my Instagram stories and see if you guys wanted an updated collection video and you guys said yes so that's the reason why I'm doing this video today. I did wonder whether to do it in two parts but I think we'll see how we get on. I feel like it's so nice to have it all in like one long video. I could just sit and watch that for hours when I'm watching other people's, but I'll see how I get on. And if it gets too long, I'll put it in two parts. So I feel like, you know, what's coming, a little bit of a disclaimer. Nobody needs this much makeup. It's ridiculous, um, but it is part of my job. I'm very, very grateful that I receive quite a lot of this through PR um, and gifted and ads and things like that. I also, buy a lot of it myself, I collect makeup, it's my job, I love trying new products, I love seeing what's good, I love trying out new releases, it's literally my life and I have such a passion for it so I am very 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 grateful to um, have all this makeup but I love looking at other people's collections, I'm very nosy, I like to see what people have got and I used to watch videos like this when I was younger and I just feel like wow like imagine if I had that much makeup one day and I feel like I've really manifested that in a way. So yeah, this is all the storage behind me. So the way I store my makeup is in the IKEA PAX system. So when you go on the IKEA website, you type in PAX, P-A-X, and you basically design it all yourself. So I designed this to the space of this wall in my makeup room at home. So all this is designed by me. You can literally switch out all the drawers to whatever you want. How many shelves um they even liked the width of like these little sections super easy to build i did this all myself so yeah it is actually a really 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 good system for storing makeup especially if you have this amount of makeup it is really really good for storing all those products it just makes my life so much easier when it comes to creating content we're gonna dive straight in because i know you're just sick of me talking you're just like get on with it we want to see your makeup collection um i'm really sorry if i sound a little bit nasally today my hay fever is absolutely through the roof so if i'm a little bit sniffly then i am really really sorry but if you want to see what's in my makeup collection then keep on watching so this top drawer is where i keep all my foundations concealers eyeshadow bases um, primers and then setting sprays over there. The clear containers that you can see all the products in, these ones here are just from Amazon. They're from a brand called Eye Design or Into Design. Um, they're all sort of the same, so type in acrylic organizers and see what comes up. So starting on this side, I've got all my Anastasia Beverly Hills foundations here. So we've got 345C there, probably a more of a summer shade for me we've got 335w um we have actually got a range here these are all sort of like the shades that i can get away with um some even might be duplicates of the same shades we've got again another 345c 332c um but a lot of them were in my makeup kit before i stopped doing clients and i've just decided to keep them because i know i'll get quite a lot of use out of them um, at the back here, I've got four NARS Natural Radiant Longwear. So we've got Barcelona, which is probably the shade that I use the most. We have another Barcelona, which is nearly empty. We have Syracuse, which is my very end of summer and holiday shade. It's very, very rare that I use this one, actually, or I like to mix it in with Barcelona and then we have Punjab which I use in the winter. So those are my um, NARS Natural Radiant Longwear and then just here we have three Huda Beauty stick foundations. So this is the Faux Filter Stick Foundation. We've got 335B, 320G and this is the one that I use Baklava 340G. This is actually a really really nice foundation. I do sometimes find it difficult with stick foundations to get them nice and flawless um, but I do like them. Right I figured out this is probably a better angle <laughs> for this. So I've got loads of the Morphe Hint Hint Skin Tints back here. They actually sent three of them through the other day. So we've got Hint of Toffee, we've got Hint of Honey which is the one that I normally wear. I actually really really like this uh, formula. Nice if you want like an everyday lightweight sort of base. 
um, another hint of honey and then a hint of butterscotch. Then back here I've got the By Terry Hyaluronic Hydra Foundation. I've never tried this. Um, all these sort of like dropper foundations seem to separate. This is in 400W. I'll have to try this actually because I've never tried it. Um, Carter Beauty Half Measure Dewy Foundation. Uh, KVD Beauty Locket Foundation in the shade Medium 57. I actually really like this. Um, I prefer this in winter though because it's quite full coverage and it's quite hydrating. So it's just not really one for me in summer. Um, we've got the Jouer Essential High Coverage Cream Foundation in bronzed. We have the Ordinary Serum Foundation, what's left of it in 2.1Y. Charlotte Tilbury Airbrush Flawless Foundation in Warm 7. Il Maquillage Foundation in 105. Um, Fenty Foundation in 300. I don't actually like this. I prefer the hydrating one. Um, NYX Born to Glow. Again, this is one of those foundations that I just don't really like. Golden. But I try and save them because if I'm just chucking something on and I want to get out the house really quick it's always good to do that or like say if I need a foundation for like a Halloween look um that I know I'm just going to take off straight away then those ones are really good to have so but I actually save my foundations for like proper content if that makes sense um Illamasqua Skin Base in 11 is it I'm not sure 12 it's right on the front um, and then the Misguided Meet Your Match Foundation, I've got 13, um, 14 and 15. 15 is the one that I wear, this one here. It's a really, really nice foundation. This is actually my favourite um, affordable foundation. I really, really like it. And I've just got three Anastasia Beverly Hills foundation sticks in honey, tan and golden. Again, I don't really tend to use stick foundations that much, but they're always good to have if I need them. Back here, we've got a little container. So this has all my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealers here and then two colour correctors from Becca. I don't even think you can get these anymore, but we have a purple one for brightening. And then we have the red one. So I've just kept those. And then in the NARS Soft Matte, we have vanilla. We have ginger. This will be another ginger, I think. Yep, another ginger that I need to finish off. And then we have a Mande, which is the one that I use for cream contour. So all my NARS Soft Matte Complete Concealers in there. In this one, we've just got a, a lonely Kevin Aquan um, Central Skin Enhancer. So this is in the shade SX10, just like that. I actually need to use this more. It's not my favourite formula, to be honest, but it was so expensive. And then back here, I have all my Tarte Shape Tapes. So we have Light Sand. This is the lightest one that I have. Great for brightening. Medium Honey, which is my favourite for just being a concealer. <laughs> you know, just matching my foundation and then I can brighten up where needed. Um, Another medium honey that I'm finishing off. I've got tan deep sand. This is good for a cream bronze, but only in winter. It's far too light. Well, doesn't make that much of a difference in summer. Um, but I like this in the winter. And then I have light medium sand. These are all my shape tapes. Great concealer. Recommend. Use it all the time. Nearly in every single look. And then if we move on to this middle section... These are probably the foundations that I use the most. And then I have all like my tinted moisturizers in here as well. So I've got all my MAC foundations at the front here. We've got NC40, um, another NC40. <laughs> We've got NC37 and NC30. Then I've just got my NARS Sheer Glow in Barcelona here, which is what I'm wearing today. Love it. And then my Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter in the shade 5. Love this. This actually looks really dark in the um, packaging compared to my skin, but it's actually a really, really sheer product. And the one below this, number 4, makes me a little bit grey. So 
um it's a little bit of a tricky product to guess your shade on because it does sheer out and it doesn't actually look as dark as it does in the packaging so that's just something to think about if you are considering getting it um, then I've got my nude sticks, tinted cover foundation, really beautiful. The new Laura Mercier tinted moisturiser oil free with SPF 20. I got that this week. Um, Fenty hydrating foundation, as you can see. I really, really like this actually. I prefer it so much more to the um, matte one over here. This is beautiful. It's so thick, but if you apply like a really thin amount, oh, it just looks gorgeous on the skin. Original Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturiser and then I've got the NARS Sheer Matte Foundation in Stromboli and Barcelona. Then we've got two Colourpop Pretty Fresh Tinted Moisturisers. This is my favourite, guys, let's not talk about the state of this. This is my favourite drugstore tinted moisturiser. Really, really love that one. Um, and then we've got the new Huda Beauty Glowish. Um, I tried this and it actually reminds me a lot of the Charlotte Tilbury Hollywood Flawless Filter and that is quite glowy and thick. Um, for someone who's oily like me, this product has to be used sort of very sparingly is what I'll say. Um, but it's really beautiful, really, really nice formula. Um, and then we've got the Urban Decay Stay Naked Hydromaniac tinted glow hydrator i really liked this but it was very very hydrating like very <laughs> hydrating so i just have that in two shades um max strobe cream in peach light absolute classic love it and then i've got some nyx high glass face primers so we've got moonbeam um we have rose quartz and this one sandy glow and then we've got more glowish at the back i think they sent over like three shades i think the one that i wear is medium is it medium i don't actually know um i have a spare misha bb cream back here in the shade number 25 because this let me tell you this is the nicest it's a beautiful beautiful bb cream um it's honestly amazing and i'm absolutely as you can see obsessed with it and nobody really talks about it. i've seen robert welsh talk about it and maybe like one or two other people but i've got so so many people on this because it's literally amazing as you can see i usually wear 25 29 is more of a summer shade so i'm definitely going to be taking this away with me this year if we can go um but yeah really really beautiful if you haven't tried that yet absolutely amazing and then my absolute favourite tinted moisturiser of all time, the NARS Pure Radiant Tinted Moisturiser. I wear the shade St. Marie's. Um, you can see this in action on my video that I uploaded before this one. If you want to see how I apply it and stuff like that, it's literally beautiful. And then here I have the Huda Beauty Faux Filter Luminous Matte Foundation. So we have Baklava. Um, and then is this the original Faux Filter? Yeah, this is the original Faux Filter Toasted Coconut. Um, Faux Filter Luminous Matte in 320G. And then, again, the original one, Baklava. I actually do like this foundation. Um, it's very full coverage. It's very full coverage. And when I used to love full coverage products, it was just a vibe, you know? And I do love full coverage, but I don't know... It's very matte, this one. It's very, very matte. And I tried the luminous matte one and I don't think I like it as much as the original, which is a shame. But I still like it. Not my favourite foundation on my skin. I feel like this full coverage foundation is like MAC and NARS and stuff that look better on me than this. But it look, it's actually a really, really nice foundation. Um, but in terms of finish, I think there is better out there for me. This is where I keep all my P. Louise bases, so I just have like a range of shades. Look at this old packaging on this one. We've got five. We've got numerous fours, because I always have a stock up. Look, four, 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 a big two. We've got another four down here, 11. Um, what's this one? Seven. So I just have a range of shades in there. Um, usually the shade that I wear is four, so... And then in here I have all my other concealers, so 
this is kind of hard to like balance on it we've got Too Faced Born This Way in light beige we have the new Fenty Beauty is it Bright Fix yeah Bright Fix in deep butter crepe and melon melon is my favorite because it's got this beautiful like pink tones you can see I've like <laughs> I've been rinsing it I've got two of the Laura Mercier flawless fusion concealers these are in 2W and 3N then if you go underneath here I've got some of the new Morphe hide and peak concealers and um, I haven't actually tried these yet so I need to give them a go then I've got two of the by Terry hyaluronic hydro concealers here um, again, I haven't tried these. I need to give them a go. Guys, it's just... Do you know what? I like to play with makeup when it's like a Sunday and I'm just doing something like natural for the day. That's when I like to try new products. But there seems to be so much that I want to try at the minute. So everything just like get in the queue and I'll try you soon. Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage Brighten and Correct Duo. We've got two of the MAC Prep and Prime pens. These are absolutely amazing. This is in Light Boost and bright forecast so yeah those are amazing i absolutely adore these nars radiant creamy concealer in the shade honey um love that for under eyes two of the nyx can't stop won't stops in mahogany fab for cream contour we've got the woma beauty um concealer in honey honey t2 brilliant brilliant concealer two makeup revolution ones under here this is getting hard to do with one hand. I've got the Il Maquillage Concealer in 08. Um, another NYX one in True Beige. Colourpop No Filter Concealer in Medium 26. Love this concealer. Then I've got two of the Nude Sticks. Come on. I'm going to have to like, swap everything around. Two of the Nude Sticks Camouflage Cream Concealer. And again, another beautiful, beautiful product. This is in Nude 5 and Nude 5.5. We've got a... Maybelline Instant Age Rewind back here. Let me just move some of these out for a second. Um, just so I can show you what's at the back. Two Huda Beauty um, concealers at the back there. Those two. And then we've got three of the ordinary concealers here. So, oh my gosh. So that is sort of this middle section here. Guys, I've already filmed half an hour's worth of footage and we're only on one draw. So I'm thinking that I'm going to have to do this video in two parts if I'm going to show you every single product. Last time I did this video, I actually didn't show every single product. I just did like a quick whatever and I didn't show like inside every single product that I got told off. So I'm going to show you every single product today. In this section here, we have all my primers and pre-makeup things that's what i like to call it pre-makeup is here and then we've got the sprays down the side so trusty bobby brown vitamin and rich face base best thing i've ever bought amazing then we have the misha bridal cream intense aqua this is absolutely beautiful and i think i will be wearing this on my wedding day because it's absolutely oh, i mean the packaging itself is amazing but the cream is just next level it's absolutely unbelievable dr jar um seek pair Tiger Grass Colour Correcting Treatment. Um, love that. Charlotte Tilbury Magic Cream. Lovely stuff. We've got Colourpop Pretty Fresh um, Hyaluronic Hydrator. Hydrating Primer. Never tried that, but I've got a little sample. Um, Laura Mercier Perfecting Primer. Really, really nice. If you're sort of like normal skin and you just want a base, this is really, really nice. Um, Laura Mercier Blurring Primer, the absolute best oil controlling primer of all time. And as someone who's got really, really oily skin, I am telling you, this is the best ever. Um, Urban Decay All Nighter Face Primer. I've tried this a few times and I like it, but I feel like I need to try it a few more to see how good it really is, you know. MAC Prep and Prime Skin. Right, I used to wear this years ago, like years and years, and I would buy it again and again and again and again and again every time I ran out. Um, yeah, so it holds a special place in my heart, so I went and bought another one the other day. Um, we have the Kiehl's Daily Reviving Concentrate Beautiful, Beautiful Pre-Makeup Oil. NYX Bear With Me Hemp Moisturising Primer, really, really nice. Um, Revolution Glow Fix. I've never tried this, guys. Sorry, I need to try it. NYX Marshmallow Primer. Great if you're dry skin. Great if you're normal skin. Oily skin. Probably give this one a miss. I will be using this on days where I feel dry or dehydrated. 
Um, then we've got a Fourth Ray Beauty Glisten Up Illuminating Mist. Lovely. Um, KVD Beauty Lock It Primer. Love this. It's hydrating, but it's actually really, really nice. Um, Huda Beauty, what's this? Water Jelly Primer. I like this. I've used it a few times. Really good. Then we have the Dior. What is this? Face and Body Primer, Backstage, Universal. I, mm, I'm still trying this. I like it, but it's very silicone-y. So I'm trying to use like a small amount. There's nothing wrong with silicones in primers or anything like that. It's not that. But sometimes I feel like it is a little bit of a cop out. But it is very smoothing. So I did use this the other day and I really loved my makeup. So I have to keep trying it. Elemis Superfood Glow Primary Moisturiser. Use this today. Absolutely blown away. think it's going to be a strong contender for the wedding. Again, Fourth Ray Beauty Matcha Face Milks. I really like these. Uh, coconut one. And then we've got the Fasali Skin Tune Blur. Again, another amazing, amazing um, oil controlling primer. Danessa Myricks Illuminating Veil. Wow. This, whew, this is unreal. It's like 90s supermodel glow, beach, Saint-Tropez magazine photo shoot vibe this is what you need in your life and then we've just got my spf <laughs> my garnier spf i really like this actually it's really nice sits really well under makeup as well um ill maquillage primer no filter poreless base primer like this but again it's very silicone and i just feel like it's a bit cop out cover fx water cloud primer beautiful absolutely beautiful 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 primer incredibly lightweight um plumping and just cooling on the skin oh amazing then we've got the benefit professional hydrating this one the hydrating one well it's filthy for a start but this is way better than the original one in my opinion at oil control and then again another four three beauty face milk um oh and I've got another setting mist there. And then coming on to my setting sprays down here, we've got the Morphe Luminous Setting Spray. Love this because it's not got any sort of like glitter in it, but it makes your skin look so fresh and dewy. It's actually really nice. Huda Beauty Glow Cocoa Hydrating Mist. Again, I really, really like this one. It's not like illuminating, but it's hydrating. Urban Decay All Nighter Setting Spray absolute classic you've got to have it in your kit um this never worked as well for me as some other ones but i'm trying it again and i'm trying to see if it made a difference mac fix plus can't go wrong you can obviously see that i love this stuff it's amazing anastasia dewy set absolutely love this stuff again it's really really nice if you want that gorgeous like glowy base again this has no glitter in it despite the packaging no glitter and then we've got mac fix plus magic radiance Again, this is one of those setting sprays that makes your skin look dewy and fresh without having that shimmer in it. This is actually unreal. I love this one. This is the one which I've been reaching for since probably like a few months. I just love it. Morphe Continuous Setting Mist, a very, very... It's not underrated because everybody uses it, but I feel like people forget about it nowadays. Really, really amazing. Love it. And then back here, we just have another primer. This is my oh, very dirty Beauty Bay Day One Moisturiser. Um, fantastic under makeup, really, really nice prep product. So guys, that is my first draw of all my foundations, primers, concealers and setting sprays done. So coming up here to this little pull out drawer, this actually has like jewellery inserts in it. Um, this is where I keep all of my Colourpop Super Shock Shadows, Super Shock Cheek. We've got some like cream shadows at the back here, Jordana Tisha duos, and then some brow products at the back. So let's get straight into it. So I'm going to show you all of my Super Shock Shadows first. Some of them are broken, but first we have Golden Hour. Gorgeous. Amazing. I love the Super Shock formula, guys. Um, this is in Axis. It's honestly one of my favourite formulas of all time. There's just nothing else like it on the market. 
and I always say this, but nobody does shimmers like Colourpop. This is 6am, but it's broken, so I'll do my best to show you. Oh, amazing. I used to use this one so much as well. It actually pained me when it was broken. Um, then we have Ritz, another one of my faves. Look at this. Wow. Oh, my. Do you see what I mean when I say nobody does shimmers? like Colourpop they just have this sort of like wet look that I just oh I love it what's this one a little quirky this is one of my probably most used love that I tend to wear that a lot in uh winter with just like bronzer in the crease peekaboo again another really well used one by me wow amazing these are literally just unreal um we've got deep dive a lot of these are quite neutral um at the moment but i've got some really funky colors coming up deep dive imagine that with like a smoky eye wow sorry amazing we have sailor beautiful beautiful stunning amazing um we have amaze beautiful like rose gold oh my god this is making me want to take all my makeup off and do it again we have kelp me oh no this is pretty how beautiful is that half of these i haven't used guys because i feel like what if i'm doing like a super shock look it has to be the right sort of shade that i'm gonna use like i always think when I think of a look, I think, right, I know exactly what products I'm going to use for the shimmer. I know exactly what products I'm going to use for the matte. So I sort of need to do looks based on the actual Super Shock product. Do you know what I mean? Like that actual specific shade. Um, this one is Monkey Business. Wow, that is beautiful. Yeah, it's actually just a case of picking one out and going, yeah, I'm going to use that one today. Wow, look at this one. Oh my gosh. We're only on the first row, guys. We've got three more rows. <laughs> stay with me. Stay with me. This is Fizz. Love this one. Wow. This is going to take me a long time to edit. I hope you guys have got snacks. I hope you've got a cup of tea. I think I need a cup of tea at the minute. Here we go again. Oh, this is pretty. Wow. Look at that. Oh, wow. And then last one on this row. Oh, this is the Animal Crossing one, but you know what? It came smashed and I was devastated and I've tried to press it together a little bit. But I was so sad about this one. But we move. Okay, so now is where it gets a little bit funky because we've got some more colours and deeper tones. I actually organised them in colour as well. Um, so this is Wine Down. Wow. Oh, this is actually making me want to take all my makeup off. This is Muse. Stunning. Absolutely stunning. Um, then we've got Flower Child. Again, another really well used one. Oh my goodness. If you want to do a colour pop order, just know that any super shock shadow that you get, that's a shimmer, you will fall in love with it. Um, in Harmony, again, a really beautiful one. Wow. That's sort of like drying out a bit. I need to put that lid on tighter. That's the thing with these, you've got to make sure the lid is really tight on there. Then we have this one, which is the um Positively perfect. This is for the um supposed to raise money for the is it called the Be Friends um campaign that Colourpop do? It's for all about an animal charity, which is lovely. I should probably know more information about that actually. Uh Mighty Morphin. This one. Can I right wait. <sighs> Let's just all take a moment before I show you this one. Wow. What? Oh my goodness. Some of them have the most beautiful reflex. In fact, all of them from this collection are stunning. This is like a butterfly. Like, wow. Amazing. Um, 
Then this one is ringlet. Wow, that one is so gorge. Really, really beautiful. Then this last one. Oh, right, you're not you're not even ready for this one. Flying circus. What? Stunning. Then the next collection is the Raw Beauty Christie one. So this is Olympic. Beautiful. I've used this so many times. It's absolutely gorgeous. Look at that. The ones from this collection, again, some of my absolute faves. This is Mycelium. Is that the thing what mushrooms are like made out of? Reminds me of science. Again, beautiful. Look at that. It's like money. It's like cash. That's like a pound coin. Beautiful. Um, then we have campfire. Oh, sorry. What? Honestly, look at that. Wow. Half this video is actually colour pop super shock shadows. Um, and then we have like a moss. This one, you're gonna die. Wow. That is like khaki dreams. I cannot cope. Then we have, this was from the Mint to Be collection. Um, mint for you. What? Why have I never used that? Why have I never used that? Guys, I'm going to have to take the makeup off and do something else this afternoon because this is amazing. Flux. I think I've used this before. Yeah. Wow. The matte ones are really interesting. I find them like, I don't know, it's just nice to see a matte one, isn't it? Um, and the last row of the Super Shock Shadows. Um, this is Main Attraction. Gorgeous. I think this was from the Blackout collection. Do you know when Colourpop blacked out all their um, packaging? And this is Millennium. Wow. Gorgeous. That wine colour? What? Oh, guys. My arms are aching. And then the rest of these ones came in a set, um, like the Dreamery set that came out around Christmas time. It was like all of Colourpop's like most iconic super shock shadows. So this is Catitude. Oh, wow. Amazing. I've just got no words left. I've, I've got no more adjectives to describe how I feel about these. Lightning Bog, this is one of the most iconic ones. Oh, what the... Sorry. Wow. I honestly have no words. Um. Oh, this one's got a label. Why has it got a label? What? Oh, anyway, I'll show you it anyway, but it's got no label. Oh my God, I wish we knew what that was <laughs> because that is absolutely to die for. Oh my gosh. This is Dream Lover. <laughs> what? Oh my God. Are you seeing this? Wow. Anyone else get this excited about makeup? Moonwalk. Whoa. Amazing. Brilliant. And then DGAF beautiful oh imagine this like just over a smoky eye with like smoky liner oh my gosh and then set to stun wow beautiful look at that reflex honestly and then this is frog again one of the really really popular ones oh can we just beautiful 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 at that amazing so those are all my ColourPop super shock shadows we're going to move over here and do super shock cheeks so these are all my super shock cheeks which are sort of like blushes and highlighters i don't really know if they do them in this packaging anymore they do them in the big sort of like normal blusher compacts but i'm not sure if they've got rid of these but i prefer them this way to be honest so this is cheerio <sighs> Can we just take a minute for this? Wow. Beautiful. Then we have Cruel Intentions. 
Oh, sorry. Why have I never used these? Do you know what I mean? I love doing videos like this because it actually helps me to rediscover things in my collection. Brute Flute. Oh, stunning. Absolutely stunning. Yeah, what I tend to do when I'm doing a makeup look is actually forget what I've been using. Like today, I thought I'm not going to reach for my favourites. I'm going to use other products because it just helps me so much to Tr like try things that I've not used in a while or reach for something new um drop of a hat stunning why have I never used it I actually hate myself I think I'm a bit of a hoarder um thimble I have used this <laughs> to death beautiful gorgeous 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 um between the sheets oh Oh, stunning. Look at that. Oh, what a beautiful, beautiful colour that is. Wow. This is seismic. Again, I've used this quite a lot. Beautiful. Gorgeous. Amazing. And then on the cusp from Kathleen Light's collection. Again, I have absolutely rinsed this. This is probably the one that I've used the most, but look at it. Why would I not use that? Just stunning. Wow. Wow. Oh, honestly, I cannot cope. So moving back here, we have some ColourPop cream eyeshadows. This is the only product that I've tried from ColourPop that I've instantly, like, not loved. Um, I need to find out a way to use them because I think I was using them the wrong way. I was using them as more of a cream eyeshadow and I feel like they need to be used as more of a base, sort of like MAC Paint Pot because that's what sort of vibe they give me. This is Argave Bloom. Because look how stunning that is, you know? I really want to love them. Keep going. This is Bronco. Stunning. Um, We have Zinnia. Oh, just amazing. We have Moonbeam. Wow, this is the one that I tried. And I tried to blend it into the P. Louise base, which is probably why it didn't work. Um, Flagstaff. Look at that. I need to try them again. Prickly Poppy. Look at that gold fleck. Stunning. We have Laurel. Oh, stunning. All these shades, all these beautiful nudes, and I'm just not using it. Camouflage. Ooh, look at that. It's like dessert. I want to eat it. And then I just have a random Animal Crossing glitterally obsessed then coming back to this side by the way if you can see this little bird up here this is a friendship bird i've got one my best friend's got one we each have one and it's a sign of friendship so ignore the bird i have all my jordana t-shirt um base and sparkles so we have pinky promise i'm not going to open these because you can see them in the bottom smolder beautiful beautiful shade we have Cinderella. Yep, Cinderella. We have one of my faves, which is Tinkerbell. Look at that, absolutely stun. Another fave is Camo, sort of like a gold green. This is my all time favourite. Speechless. This is fantastic with a gold smoky eye. Um, Chill Pill. Wow, sorry, can't cope. Then we have Frosted, which is a gorgeous silver. And then we have Majestic, which is a beautiful, beautiful wine colour. Then at the back here, I have all brow products. So I have all my Anastasia Beverly Hills brow powders here. So we have Medium Brown, Medium Brown, um, Dark Brown, just like that. We have another... We have chocolate, beautiful, beautiful. Um, soft brown, which is the one that I use the most. Soft brown. These last so long as well. Then we have another soft brown and another soft brown, which is why I have three, <laughs> three soft browns. Then we have dip brow in chocolate. This is very, very well loved and very old. Probably needs throwing away. We've got soft brown, gorgeous. 
not even opened. Then we've got another soft brown, which is this one. Soft brown is my favourite for my brows, I feel like. Depends if I want a darker brow or a lighter brow, it just depends on the day. Then we have the Sexy Eyes Brow Pomade in Mocha. Oh, I really want a mocha now. I think I'm going to pause filming and go and get a mocha while I do this. And then we've got the Morphe one in Java, like this. And then two more Anastasia Beverly Hills Dip Brow in Dark Brown. Lovely. And this is the Jet Liner, so just the black one. And that is it for this drawer. So the next section that we're moving on to is another one of these pull-out drawers that is meant for jewellery. And this is all my bronzers and cream bronzers. Yeah, so a few cream bronzers in here. Um, I tend to use the same bronzer. You all know that I use MAC for <laughs> skin finish. But I'm trying to get better at using different bronzers and trying to resist the urge. And I'm trying to use different ones. I actually use a different one today. So, so I have Mac Mineralized Skin Finish in dark. This is an old one that I need to use up. And then we have another dark. So that's that one there. And then we have dark tan, a little bit more red. This one. Two Doll Beauty Gimme Suns. This is in the shade dark. Just that shade there. I don't really tend to use this as much. And again, another dark, just there. Um, then behind here we have Anastasia Beverly Hills Powder Bronzer in Rosewood. Just this sort of lovely shade there. Then we have Rich Amber. That shade. There. I like these, but I feel like the tones are quite neutral or red. There's not even like one, maybe Saddle. I don't even know where Saddle is. I did have it, but God knows where it's gone. Um, Which is like a golden tone. This is Tawny. So yeah, I don't really tend to reach them that much. This is the new Huda Beauty Glowish um, Pure Radiance Bronzers. Really nice, actually. That's O2 Medium. We have Deep Tan. I want to get it open. That one. And then my personal fave, which is Tan Light. I really like this formula. This is quite cool tone though, so I wish, it, I wish it was a little bit warmer, but I really, really love the formula of that. I have this old NARS compact from my kit and I can't get rid of it. I just, oh, this is Gaina, Gaina. I just can't get rid of it. End of story. Then I have my Laura Mercier Candle Glow Powder in the shade number five. Beautiful, stunning product. This, in summer, is just a vibe. It's a radiance. I, it's actually a powder, like a finishing powder to make you like glowy and fresh, whatever. But I bought it in my bronzer shade as sort of like a bronzer topper. And sort of, again, a finishing powder all over my face. This is absolutely stunning. It's gorgeous. And I actually worked for Laura Mercier when this came out. And when, I remember like when they first got delivered, I was like, oh my gosh, get that on my face. And I used to wear this every single day. <laughs> Loved it. And then I've got two Hula Caramels. This is what I'm wearing today as bronzer. So I am trying, guys. I'm trying to not wear the same bronzer every single day of my life. Milani Soleil bronzer. Beautiful. One of the best bronzers from the drugstore. This is Il Maquillage Back to Black. Gorgeous. Very red though. Then we have Fenty Beauty Island Ting. This one right here. I like this, but I find it hard to blend on myself. Um, Galan. Oh, if you know, you know. Galan Terracotta Four Seasons in 05. Apparently, so I, when I used to work for Laura Mercier, the counter next to us was Galan. And apparently Galan were the first ever makeup brand to invent bronzers. How crazy is that? 
um and the women on there were lovely and we used to like talk about it all the time and there was always like buy this bronzer buy this bronzer it's so expensive but wow this is amazing i need to use it more often but yeah it's my galan bronzer i will never ever throw this out it reminds me of when i used to work on counter um so i even though i don't really use it that much i just keep it in there misguided instant vacay bronzer this is in dark i mean if this is dark then god i hope they do darker than this beautiful love this one fantastic lovely formula then i've got all the huda beauty tan tours in here um left over from my kit i never really used to use these uh rich this is the shade i never yeah i never really used to use Sometimes I did, but it's just like the shades in these are so funny, like medium. I feel like shouldn't have been named medium. Because like I always label myself as medium, but that is, I don't know, that's just a lot darker than what most mediums are. So I feel like for people who are, this is fair, I feel like for people who are buying online, you might sort of get the wrong shade do you know if you just like usually i would just buy medium whereas that would not even look right on me this is light and then this one is tan but i keep them anyway just in case you know so those are the ones in there and then moving on to this section here we've got the nars uh sun kissed bronzing cream in laguna I've used this once, but it's quite cool tone on me, and I prefer something a little bit more golden. Um, but I'll use it. Sol Face and Body Bronzing Balm. As you can see by the state of this, I absolutely love this. This is in the shade Medium. This is like more what I like, you know, like a golden tone. This is my Chanel dupe. Sorry about all the brush hairs in there. That's disgusting. That is actually foul. I'm really sorry that you have to see that, but it is an amazing product if you are going to get something from Colourpop. Um, HNB bronzers. So we've got Light Tan, which is the one that I use. We have 04 Medium. We have... We have Dark Tan. We have Deep... We have a light warm, lovely shade actually, that one. We have light, we have medium deep, we have dark, oh that red tone in that is gold. And then we have medium golden, which is this one. And then I've just got my trusty old what's left of it Chanel bronzer. They've changed the formula now. I'm disappointed. Let's not bring it up. And then I have all my Beauty Bay bronzers at the back here, all in this white packaging. So this is button. Oh, stunning colour. Then we've got Merlot. We've got cinnamon. Come on. Cinnamon. Chestnut. Gorgeous red tone. We've got oak. That one. We've got beach, which is my shade. Lovely. It's actually a really beautiful bronzer. Donut, which is a shimmering one. And then caramel is this one so yeah those are all my bronzers so in this drawer we have all of my bronzers blushes and highlighters so we've got cream blush powder blush and highlights in here so oh, let's make a start let's make a start on this on this drawer we're going to start on this side with all my cream blushes so i've actually got some cream bronzers in here as well so these are all my nude sticks nudies tinted blur stick we've got Deep 9, medium 7, medium 6. Beautiful for contouring, prepping the skin, all over the skin. Multi-use, lovely product. Fantastic. 
we have three made by Mitchell blush. We've got mango daiquiri. Where's the SPF and peach sugar? Peach sugar is the one I've been using at the minute. If you want to see it in action, go and watch the video before this one. Feel like I'm trying to get through these guys. I've been dawdling. I've been doing the colour pop sort of vibe and now it's time to catch up um you guys know how much i love nude sticks so we've got nudie's matte strip beautiful beautiful shade we've got nudie's matte in beach babe nudie's matte in beach babe beautiful is that a hair why has everything got hair on it we've got nudie's matte in terracotta tan beautiful cream bronzing fantastic We've got Nudie's Matte in Bondi Bay, again, oh, amazing for cream bronzing, cream contouring. We've got Nudie's Bloom in Poppy Girl, beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. We've got the Misguided Highlight Liquid Highlighter in the shade Golden Hour. We've got three Nude Sticks Magnetic Lip Plush Paints, but these can be used cheek, lip and eyes, so I've got the shade Fresh Fiji which is this gorgeous red shade. We've got Hot Paprika, which is probably the one that I use the most. And then we have Sweet Sangria, which is absolutely gorgeous. These as cream blushes, absolutely unreal. And then I have, oh, I'm a bit scared to use these, but they're the Colourpop Cheek Dew. They seem to separate quite a lot. I haven't used these yet, but they're a serum blush, so they're gonna separate, aren't they? Um, Kiss Kiss, Rumours, Hot fuss. I haven't tried these yet, but I know I need to. We've got the Morphe 2 Wonder Lip Cheek Tint thing. Lovely. I don't think this showed up that much on me. We have the MUA Blushed Liquid Cream Blush in watermelon. Yeah, watermelon. Really beautiful. Love this. Illa Masca Beyond Liquid Highlighter in OMG. Again, beautiful. Love it. Then I've got quite a lot of these Colourpop blush sticks. Um... Coastal Drive, we have Cottage, lovely, these are quite bronzy shades, and then Picnic Time, beautiful, beautiful pink shade. We've got Benefit Love Tint, need to use this more because I actually really like it. We have the Nip and Fab Blush Stick in the shade Electric Apricot, I used to use this so much on myself, could do with a clean. This is the Elizabeth Arden Ceramide Cream Blush in the shade Honey. This was my ride or die for so long. I actually love it. We've got two of the Fenty Beauty Matchsticks. This is in the shade Truffle for cream contour. And then Chili Mango for blush. This is to die for. Love that one. Then we've got Colourpop Blush Stick again in the shade I Don't Know. In the shade Flycatcher, um, we have Aviary, 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 really nice. Then we've got Bullseye, beautiful. And then we've got Star Bright, stunning. We've got Mini Me, oh guys, Hooked. I used to use this one so much, beautiful. We've got Earth, beautiful, and then we've got Ueno, Ueno, stunning, that looks like glass, gorgeous. We have Aloha, which is a shade that I used to use all, all the time, Flamenco, gorgeous, wow, that's getting me inspired, would love to do a look with this. Oh, we got on a focus. Beautiful. And then 25.8. Love this one. I used to wear it all the time. I have Dash Zero. That is stunning, actually. And then we have Under Pressure again. I used to wear this all the time. Really, really nice. And then coming down here, we have some NARS Air Matte Blushes. These are my absolute faves of all time. We've got Torch. You can see the shade through there. It's sort of like an orangey shade. Then we've got Rush which is sort of like an apricot. We've got Darling, which is a pink. And then we have Orgasm. This one is quite light. It doesn't show up on me that much, so just bear that in mind. It's quite sheer. 
Then we have L'Oreal Life's a Peach Beautiful Blush. Um, I ordered this from MAC. This is the Bright Response Powder, powder Blush. Can we just say, can you see that? Powder Blush. Why is this absolutely tiny? It's absolutely minuscule, but it's beautiful. We have Benefit Rocketeur. Beautiful. Love, used to love, like, love that years ago. We have MAC. Sun Basque, gorgeous, gorgeous glowy blush. Perfect as that every day. Um, we have MAC Gingerly. Oh, stunning. We have MAC Peach Twist. Again, another stunning, stunning blush. We have MAC Peaches. A proper throwback shade for me. I used to wear this all the time. Whoops. Um, we have MAC Harmony. Gorgeous for those sort of like cool tone smoky looks. We have Pink Swoon. That Kylie Jenner sort of vibe. We have Copper Tone, which is probably one of my favourites actually. It's just gorgeous. It has this like orange undertone. It's really nice. We have MAC Hushed Tone. Again, I absolutely hammer this. I love it. We've got Burnt Pepper, which is probably the most underrated MAC blush of all time. I absolutely love this. It's a summer vibe. You need to go and watch my last video. Then we have MAC Lovejoy. If I can get it open. Stunning. Stunning. I feel like I'm the MAC blush hype man. And then we've got MAC just a pinch. Oh, if you know, you know. Stunning. And then we have Melba. Gorge. Stunning. Um, and then we have the Dior blush, um, Rosy Glow 001, which we all thought was the blush that um, Ariel used on Kylie Jenner and then we all got tricked into buying it because of TikTok and then it turned out to be not the blusher but nevertheless this is stunning look at that it's gorgeous here we have the ABH blush trios this is in peachy love amazing I used to use this shade all the time and this one as well then we have pool party stunning again look at that middle shade i would have never used these shades before whereas now i'm like really attracted to them it's weird we have pink passion oh, look at that shade sugar why did i buy the dior one when that is stunning isn't it um we have berry adore oh my goodness guys i'm i'm with just... why do i not use these this is um pink passion have i already Wait, am I missing one? Here we go. What's this? Cocktail party. Can we just with that shade and that shade? Wow. Then we have the classic Nars Orgasm. Classic blush. Then we have the Jordana Tisha blushes. This is in Fruit Punch. One of my favourites ever. As you can see, it's very well loved. Then this is Honey Pie. Beautiful, beautiful shade. Then we have Prom Queen, which is a gorgeous peachy sort of shade and then we have lots of love which is stunning gorgeous then back here we have all beauty bay blushes again so we have coral stunning orange pink then we have peachy which is what i'm wearing today gorge love um blossom nice shimmery one this is so funky. Cosmo. Sorry. How nice. Then we've got Bloom. Stunning. We have Royal. Wow. And then we have Bitten. Oh, that is gorge. Why have I never used that? Few of myself. Then we have the Mina um, blush in the shade 590. This is really, really natural on the skin. Um, beautiful. 
And then we have the Three Concept Eyes Blush in Soft Salmon. Stunning blush. And then my trusty Milani Luminoso. My favourite shade in the Milani Baked Bronze is actually Bellissimo Bronze, but I don't have it with me. So we're just going to have the Milani one there. We have all the Colourpop ones. So we have Talk to the Palm, which is just a bronzer, actually. These are filthy. We've got Fresh and Peachy, just like that. We've got Perk Up, which is another bronzer. Uh, Frisky Business, which is gorgeous on light skin. I remember I used to use this on clients and it was just stunning. Got Take the Cake. Beautiful. Look at that. Classic blush shade, isn't it? I've actually got a blush addiction. <laughs> this is Truffle Shuffle. Gorgeous again. Um, we've got the Colourpop and Hello Kitty at Frost Sight. Cute. Then we've got all the Animal Crossing ones. So this is Flower Tender. Gorge. We have Flower Power. Stunning. We've got um, another Hello Kitty one. Bundled up. Lovely. And then we've got the Colourpop Disney Villains Super Shock Highlighter. Beautiful. We've got the Colourpop um, Palatial. Palatial? Palatial? Palatial. I don't know. Blush. Oh, that is stunning. Um love story blush wow look at that that is amazing and then we move on to this super shock blush formula so this is foxy lovely um we have shook to the coral that looks exactly the same as the last one <laughs> We've got um, Out of Sight. Why am I dropping these? They're quite hard to hold. Oh, that's lovely. We have Candy Floss. Super Shock Highlighter. Is this a blush or a highlighter? Super Shock Highlighter. And then we have Soul Body um, Shimmering Body Powder in Warm Gold. Whoa, look at that. Stunning. And then we have, oh, Colourpop Pressed Powder Blush in Wayfarer. I used to hammer this. Wow. Is that a hole? That is an actual hole. <laughs> oh my God, what have I started here? Okay, we're just going to close that and put it back in and pretend that that never happened. We've got Too Faced. This is like the blush and highlight duo from the Christmas collection. Very stunning. And then we have the other one. Very stunning. Then we've got loads of Colourpop individual things here, but I'm not going to get those out. Benefit Georgia Blush. Listen, this is the best blush topper or blush, whatever, like glowy whatever thingy you want this is stunning um we've got the colourpop blush in crossroads colourpop blush in on the horizon we've got the nyx high glass finishing powder oh these are stunning actually we've got the lizzie mcguire you are magnifique press powder blush lovely i keep these in the packaging because i feel like i'm a little bit attached to the lizzie mcguire ones um so we're kind of just gonna leave them in the cardboard we're not gonna take those out and then this is delish from the same collection stunning I'm not even taking the cellophane off guys this is what i mean i actually do collect makeup like it's not even funny mm, glazed highlighter in icy we've got the lottie london highlighter in diamond bounce i've not opened that yet 
we've got the mis oh, misguided blush in about last night this is unreal we've got the danessa myricks dew wet this is stunning if you want that like glass glow nyx high glass finishing powder again we've got doll beauty pretty little glow absolutely stunning and then we have the anastasia beverly hills iced out highlighter oh would you look at that that actually doesn't even look real does it and then in these two rows we have all highlighters so we have at the front we've got the mac christmas one from this year this is flair for the dramatic wait till you see this wow what the hell this is amazing we've got mac beaming blush stunning this is beautiful layered over blush because it has that pink tone underneath we've got mac whisper of guilt a classic still don't think it's the same as the original then we've got mac soul glow again i think this from the christmas collection beautiful we have jordana t-shirt um base face and sparkles these one rose tinted stunning they're like a cream highlighter and a loose highlighter in one they're actually amazing um glass slipper which is gorge the actual like wet highlighter like the what do you call it the cream highlighter on these is unreal this is golden rule which is the one that i probably used to use the most hence the brush marks in there i would probably apply this with my fingers now um iced out stunning then we've got Beauty Bay highlighters at the back. We've got Glaze. And we've got Beam. And then we've got Flash. Do these all look the same? And then we've got Trophy. There we go. Down the side, we've got Becca Champagne Pop. How sad that Becca won't be making these anymore. I just find it so awful. Um, Becca Shimmering Skin Perfector in Gold Pop. This is the cream one. Stunning. Absolutely gorgeous. MAC uh, Mineralized Skin Finishing Global Glow. What a classic. What an old school classic that one is. And then, of course, we've got Fenty Trophy Wife. Gorgeous. Over on this side, we've got my faves, Illamasqua. So we've got the Beyond Powder in Dare. Again, beautiful over a blush. This is sort of that wet look um, highlight. We've got Epic. Love this for when I'm more bronzy. Look at that. It looks like just you could eat it, couldn't you? Do you want to lick that? Because I do. And then we have OMG, which is the classic stunning what i love about these is they're so intense but they give that really wet look you know like not you don't really have any glitter in wet and wild mega glow highlighting powder in the shade precious petals again this is one of those highlighters that i prefer over any other where it's pure sheen and like wet look rather than glitter and then i have another one of these in the shade awesome blossom i use this for my chest and legs and stuff when i go out love that we've got the morphe highlighter in hat no extra stunning and then we have the shade spark oh that's actually really pretty be perfect be perfect get wet and stacy marie highlighter in soft silk wow stunning and then we have the same one in the shade skin sheen how many colours that's reflecting? That's beautiful. And then we have the ABH Loose Powders um, in Snowflake. We have Sunset Aura. We've got Vegas. We have So Hollywood. Wow, do you remember those old Anastasia Beverly Hills like highlighters? And there was like So Hollywood, there was like four of them. Um, Peach Fizz this i used to love il maquillage blush in poker face really love this 
that was like my lockdown blush and then we have some molly o'brien um highlighters this is for the glow getters literally the shade gorgeous and the shade lovely and then we have a ColourPop Super Shock Highlighter in the shade Coasting, which is just that one there. And then at the back, I have, oh, if I can reach, I have three of the Beauty Bay Jelly Highlights. That's in the shade Spar Starlight Sparkle. Actually, really nice, these, but less is more. Then we have Marshmallow Moonlight. Oh. Stunning. They actually are like jelly, these ones. And then this one, which is Shimmering Stardust. So that is it for all my highlights, blushes and cream blushes and all that good stuff that is in this drawer. Guys, so I'm actually going to leave it at that today. We've done four drawers. We've done one, two, three, four. We've got so much more to get through, so I am going to split it into two, maybe even three parts. Um, just so it's not too long-winded, I feel like I've got so much, I've got hours of footage already. So I don't want it to be too overwhelming for you guys, so I'm going to leave it at that. My next video will be part two, and then my next video after that will be part three. So it'll all be in order, come in soon. Alright guys, that's it for this video. Before you leave, don't forget to subscribe, hit that thumbs up button if you like this video and leave me a little comment in the comment section below. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one. Bye!